Hello, how are you doing? So today we're going to make this wonderful, wonderful fish soup and it really is fun packed and full of goodness. I really love this one. But before we do that, we're actually going to make some fish stock. So fish stock, then we're going to make the soup, which is really easy. Once the stock is done, welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so we're going to get started with this fish stock. So let's talk about the main ingredient, fish. Now I've got two sea bass, which I've used previously, the bodies. And then what I've done is I've frozen these, got them out now. So two heads here and two tails. Now there's a lot of meat still inside these. Now you can use any fish that you want, but yeah, that's what I'm using today. And then I've got roughly equal parts of carrots, celery and onion. So one onion, three regular sized carrots and maybe three or four stalks of celery, one lemon, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of chopped garlic, and about six bay. Now, I'm just putting bay in here. You can take it in a direction you want, because what this is gonna be is a kind of pretty standard type of fish stock. But if you want, put star anise in, ginger in, and kind of take it in that more kind of Asian vein, do you know what I mean? Bit of chili in it, things like that. If you want it more sort of Mediterranean, get some chopped parsley in here, or some mint, or something like that. Like I say, I'm gonna keep this fairly straight so I can use it in different types of cuisine. Very easy, let's get to the cooker. You're gonna need a big pot, some olive oil, and of course, quite a lot of water. So this is the biggest pot that I have. Now, if you're regular to the show, this is about three times the size of the usual big black pot that I ever use. So yeah, it's a whopper. I've got some olive oil in there. We're gonna drop in our celery, our onion. I mean, this is so simple now. our carrot, and doesn't really matter how you chop it, our garlic, the salt and the pepper, and the bay. Here I've got that one lemon, which I'm just going to give it a squeeze, and then drop it in. Squeeze, drop it in. Okay. High heat, five minutes, keep it moving. Okay, four or five minutes, just to get these base vegetables together. We're now gonna add the fish, like I say, big. That's a huge, look, that's my hand. It's huge, it's a big one. Couple of towels, some lovely meat in there. And again, the second head, which again, is ginormous. These are, these are a real big fish. Very simply, we're going to get some water. In we go. And more water. It's about three litres there, I think. Okay, so on a high heat, what we're going to do is pop a lid on that, bring it to the boil. Once it starts to boil, turn it down so it's just on a nice smooth rolling boil you don't want to be boiling the life out of it okay so yeah nice rolling boil and then we're going to let it go for a minimum of two hours i'll see you then okay heat's off now what i want to do is i want to get this fish out And what I'm going to do with this fish, look at that, beautiful. What I want to do with the fish here is I'm going to pick the meat off it because we're going to make a beautiful fish soup. So I'm going to let that cool down, then I'm going to be taking the, the meat from the bones. I'm now going to drain this once I've got this last piece out. We're now going to sieve this through and we're going to end up with that beautiful, beautiful stock. It really, really is tasty. So I'm going to stick that through a colander. We'll end up with some lovely, lovely fish stock. So there you go. I've got it drained off. You can see we're going to take all that out. We're going to discard that. We don't need that anymore. And then underneath that, we've got some beautiful, beautiful stock. And there we go. That's fabulous. Really, really beautiful. 
Now what I do with this is I get it into some jars with a nice twist lid and I can keep that once it's cooled down I can get that in my fridge and I can keep that happily for about seven days like one week but I'll use it up within one week. We're going to use a lot of this now because we're going to make a beautiful fish soup. Okay so the stock is done there's the fish I took all the bones off that you know so that's just lovely fish meat there's a lot there. I've now got potatoes, onion, green beans, carrots. Here I've got some chopped parsley, garlic and smoked paprika. Now you can be using, you know, celery, mushrooms. You can put some tomatoes in here. Depends how you want to go, which direction you want to go in. So I've got about three or four regular sized potatoes, one onion sliced, two or three cups of these two vegetables, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now smoked paprika is delicious in this if you can get it. It's fabulous. One tablespoon of garlic and then you can see how much there's some chopped parsley. Now if you want some fresh basil, some mint, like I say, you can sort of wing this and kind of make it up as you go along. I'm going with this selection. We're going to get back to a more decent sized pot now, not that huge thing. And we're going to make this in absolutely no time. It is wonderful. So here we are then back with my regular sized pot. I've got some olive oil in there and I'm going to add the onion. Now we're on an above medium heat right now. The green beans, the carrots, the potatoes. To that we're going to add our tablespoon of garlic, that teaspoon of smoked paprika or some other dried herb or something that you like, salt, black pepper, five minutes on a fairly lively high heat, stirring often, we can move on to the next stage, this is going to be really easy and I'll tell you it's wonderful. Wonderful stuff, okay next up let's get all that fish in, like I said there's quite a lot of fish from those heads that we had. I'm also going to now add that parsley or fresh herb that you fancy putting in. Just three minutes, stay on this high heat, stirring pretty much all the time. Let's get some of that garlic and paprika and everything now onto our fish. Okay, just a couple of minutes or so. Next up we're going to grab our absolutely wonderful stock and in she goes. Now I've still got some left, I've probably got a litre left. So I might have put, I don't know, maybe a litre and a half, two litres in there. That is incredible. So medium heat now. I'm going to go for eight or nine minutes. What we're looking for is our potatoes and carrots to be tender and we're done. Delicious stuff. Now in the meantime, like I say, the balance of my stock, that can go into a nice airtight container, twist lid sort of thing. And like I say, I like to keep that for about one week. After that, yeah, I generally throw it away, but yeah, no chance it will even last that long. We'll be using that tomorrow. Okay, off goes the heat. Off comes the lid. Get some steam out of there. And that is beautiful I mean really I'm so happy with that now I'm going to serve it just like that if you want you could liquidize this and make it a kind of smooth soup add a bit of cream to it perhaps but I'm just going like that that is delightful let me get that in a bowl so there you go so we've made some wonderful stock lovely fish stock we use about half of it in there got a balance of that we can use that for something else but that soup is incredible. Like, I really, really love that. I hope you do too. We'll see you very soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, I suppose. Yeah, don't do that. Just do that. 
Um, yeah, and subscribe to us. That would really help us out a lot. We just hit 100 million views. We're very excited about that. We would love if you could support what we're doing. We don't do any ads or endorse any products at all, uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot. A lot of it rubbish, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be doing that. So we've got a little PayPal thing. If you want to buy us a coffee, just a couple of dollars or whatever you want, you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.